superstar artist. It's Mrs. Talbert, your fairy art mother, Yoda mama, and creative being. I am here because today we have a very special lesson planned for you that hopefully will inspire you to create through the magic of visual storytelling some positive messages in the world. Today, more than ever, we need you. We need your light, we need your love, we need your fresh eyes, and the world needs to see through a different lens. Yes, the world needs to see through your lens and how you see it and what you wanna say. So today, we are studying the wonderful arts of, the wonderful art of Keith Herring. Can you see that? Yes, Keith Herring. He is an iconic American artist that I love so much because his art was an art of, um, of uh, symbols and visual storytelling, very whimsical, very humorous, very bright, that would lift your spirit. And he is, he's iconic because, let me just share with you, he was really came up, um, he was born in Pennsylvania, and he came up in the New York uh, street graffiti scene. He would go down into the subways of New York, and you know what he would do? He would find, try to find billboards that hadn't been put advertising on yet, like blank billboards, and he would take chalk. Some of you are using chalk right now. And he would take chalk, and he would very quickly um, do a wonderful cartoon-like um, picture on the board and it would bring so much joy to people. So he was doing live street art or graffiti art in the subways and he was never ruining anything because he didn't use spray paint. He would just use chalk so they could easily be erased. And you know who inspired him? His father. His father was a cartoonist. And so from a itty bitty baby, he was growing up and making cartoons and, and doing doodles. And you know who, who else inspired him? A couple, a lot of people actually. Walt Disney, Charles Schultz, uh, Dr. Seuss, Andy Warhol in the pop art movement, right? Uh, so, so many people inspired him to um, really create his own style. And some people say, well, why didn't he have any faces? I'm gonna show you some of his work. Why didn't they have any faces? Well, a lot of his work, notice, is bright, it's bold, these nice black outlines. And notice the movements. In his work, he made all of his figures look like they were moving. He used human figures and animals and even symbols like flying saucers and dog, like, you know, all kinds of fun stuff you'll see. But he wanted to have action marks to make them move. And so you're gonna see a lot of his work, but he, um, he had to do them quickly in the subway station so that he could move on to the next one, okay? And sometimes he got in trouble. They didn't want him, you know, they had to get permits and, and all those regulations. But you know what? Keith Haring, most of his artwork it has a social message and it has a message of making the world a better place. And so today, you get to be art activists. You get to put out into the world what you would like to say with your lens. How do you want to make the world a better place, right? What do you want to remind um, us older people that we need to be doing, right? So let me just show you a little bit about Keith Haring's work, and then you're going to put together your own piece of work. This is one of his pieces called Radiant Baby. And again, he was so, he wanted everybody to enjoy his work. So you know what he did? He came up from the subways. He was really getting popular. And he started doing murals um, on basketball courts, on the sides of buildings. And then, guess what else he did? He wanted everybody to be able to afford his work. So he created the world famous pop shop and in the pop shop you could buy watches you could buy little stickers or um, little pins you could buy a little poster and so that everybody could enjoy his wonderful work so this is radiant baby and then we have 
let me see. And I'm going to put a link below so that you can learn a little bit about Keith and um, Caring and his amazing body of work and a little bit about him. I was totally inspired by him. Again, the dancing people, they look like they're having a party. Notice those colors, that yellow in the background that of happiness. He's jumping. He's dancing, right? Okay, and then we've got two people holding a heart. Notice that the heart is radiating love, and they're both in this to hold up love, all right? Then we've got another piece that he did with the two people holding up, and you don't know if this is a man, if this is a woman, right? Um, it's very geometric in shapes, and the world is uh, radiating good energy, right? Positive energy. Okay, let's see what else we have here. This one I love. Notice he has the radiating baby. Everybody linked up together. Two people holding uh, the heart, right? And then of course he uses, um, they almost look like werewolf, but little dog-like animals. This is one of his murals on the side of a building. Okay, another one on the side of the building. And notice again the colors and all of the patterns in his work, right? So I'm gonna show you, and this very it looks very tribal. Look at the lines, the, the zigzags, right? So he's using a lot of the elements of art and he's using a lot of emphasis in his, in his work, right? So now what we're gonna do is you are gonna get to come up with a piece that uh, you're gonna pick an issue that means a lot to you, okay? And I'm gonna show you Mrs. Talbert's piece right now because right now people are protesting for equal um, rights and justice for all. And so um, there's a lot in the world that needs to be healed and you are a part of the solution. Your viewpoint matters. So we've got dancing, everybody working together, all colors, dancing together, right? Notice the background on this one. This one has hearts with love. And again, these are all different ideas of teachers and students, right? Now we're gonna talk about what issue you want. Now I'm gonna show you some of key Caring's issues, okay? This is one that says, see no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil. And what do you think he was trying to say with this one? Well, if you don't speak it, see it, or hear it, can you really make a difference? So thinking about maybe if somebody's being bullied, would you say something, right? Or are you going to act like you don't hear it? Ignorance equals fear. Ignorance is, I don't know, so therefore I'm afraid, right? And sometimes that's silence equals death. So these are some of Keith Haring's um, uh, arts, artwork, his art activism, right, work. And this one says crack is whack. So he's talking about drugs really are killing people and it's horrible, All right? This one is what he want, he did a piece to help um, bring light to bring awareness to apartheid in South Africa and, and treating everybody the same, right? This is that piece. This is a student's piece of work. And notice we've got a Keith Haring inspired um, person dancing on top of the world, but the world is melting. And we're all trying to hold it up. This one is also two people with the heart and all the Keith Haring people are holding up the world. This one says love and be kind. This one says respect community, respect one another. Look at the buildings behind and the giant person here. I love that one. This one says stop the violence. Great. Okay, and then this one says equal, right? Men and women are equal. Everybody is equal. Okay, then we have, it says like a, it's a police, a men holding a gun and there are people laying on the ground. Maybe, I don't know if these are protesters or 
um, people who have been harmed, right? But again, this one says, I can't breathe. So this is, these are just examples of what students have done that you can bring light to. Maybe you want to um, bring light to um, an injustice in your, in your community or with the world and global warming or saving animals. What I did, I thought I would create this piece the other day. And this is a big heart. It's the world, but it's a little broken down the middle. And it says, we're all in this together. And it has two gigantic ears. One is white, one is brown, and we have different color people holding up, leaning in to the world to piece it together. Why do you think the ears are big? Well, they say that God gave us two ears and one mouth so that we could listen more than we speak, so that we could hear each other and have empathy and compassion for one another. We also have three eyes. In the Keith um, Hearing series, I will show you that he used a lot of symbolism in his work. And with the three eyes, he would use the three eyes to, uh, to um, share joy, to show joy, okay? So I'll show you that in a minute. But again, I've got the planet in the orbit, like it's kind of gray, and then we're in this together. And this is a COVID mask on the world. So we've got the three eyes, the different color ears that are gigantic, the people holding it up. So what do you think Mrs. Talbert is trying to say? with this piece, okay? You are going to get to do your own piece right now. And I am going to, let's see, oh, keep calm and save animals. That's another one. And you can do this uh, piece in just black and white. You can do this piece in color. And we can do whatever materials that you have that, that you can get to, right? So whether, I'm gonna do mine in markers because that's just easy. I also have crayons though. You can do paint, you can paint, you can pa use pastels, or you can just use pen, pencil or pen, right? So we're gonna start with stick figures and I'm gonna meet you on the other side where I have my camera above so that you can see everything that I'm doing, okay? So you guys ready to have some fun? Let's create our Keith Herring pop art, contemporary art, graffiti style art um, uh, message, right? We're gonna put together a social um, a justice piece of art that is going to really bring a positive message to people. All right, let's do it. Mantra, right? Are you ready? Oh, we cannot start without doing our mantra. For real. Okay, number one, repeat after me. I am excited. I'm excited. Yes, I am positive. Positive. Yes, I am creative. Oh, so creative. I am mindful. I'm mindful. I am strong. I am love. Spread it. Spread my wings. Spread love. I am an artist. I am an artist. Let's do this. All right, guys. So what we're going to do is we are going to create our masterpiece. And we're just going to try to practice drawing the stick figures and then basically, you know, kind of how we did the bubble letters or the block letters, we're going to add a little um, thickness to the, to the stick formation. And it's also, it's going to start off like kind of like a little lollipop, but everybody knows how to make stick figures. So what are you going to need? You're going to need a piece of paper. You're going to need a pencil, an eraser, maybe some markers and your imagination, okay? If you don't have markers, you can use crayons or you can paint. So let's get started. Now, 
what I want to do is I want to just kind of show you how we're going to create movement in the body of our stick figures, right? So this one's leaning to the side here. But you can also, let me give you a little template here. You can also have them with their hands above, uh, you know, doing jumping jacks, doing the splits. You can have them running, right? So you can make them do, you can even have them dabbing, doing the whoa. Uh, <laughs> you can have them doing anything that you want to do. So let's go ahead and start practicing some movements here just so that we can see what we want to do. And then, you know, I, I did want to show you, remember I told you I would show you some of Keith Haring's, his different um, symbols that he used to use, right? So we are going to show you, let's just see here. These, we've got the dog, we've got the radiant baby, um, this one looks like a little angel with wings, the three-eyed monster, which symbolized joy. Uh, I know he used a lot of dolphins too, but this is like, looks like a flying Batman, right? So just to show you, you know, some of the symbols that he was almost like Egyptian hieroglyphics, right? Have you ever seen the hieroglyphics in Egypt on the pyramids? And in fact, guess what? He used even pyramids. He used flying saucers. Notice the little serpent head kind of monkey figures, light bulbs. These look like really cool doodles. Look at this robot in there. So again, you can make your figures and sometimes you use X's on the eyes or on the bellies. So let's go ahead and start our drawing. So step one, let's go ahead and figure out what do we want to say? What do we want to have the people actually doing? So I'm going to use this one to start. They look like they're um, dancing, but I'm gonna go ahead and just, this is a dry erase board so we can kind of see. Let me show you. All right, there we go. So let's say I'm gonna do my heart in the middle. This could be the world too, right? And we're gonna sketch. That way we can change our mind easily. So I'm gonna use a dry eraser marker just before I use, and we're just gonna practice kind of getting our theme going. So I'm gonna use my Big, should do this kind of big. Let's do a bigger head. All right, so I've got my head and then I'm gonna do my stick, almost like a lollipop. Okay, so I've got a stick here and a stick here. This is for the body, right? Then I'm gonna do my legs and with legs, I'm gonna have two parts. So I've got my thigh and my shin and then I'm gonna come out here and I'm gonna do my thigh and my shin and then he kind of has like like these like club looking bean looking feet so i'm going to do my arm two parts to my arm too and then little circles for my hands so i've got my arm boop, circles for my hand so that kind of gives me my skeletal outline let me do this side too so he might be doing something different i don't know maybe he's doing something different so I'm gonna have my thighs, shin, and again, you can have him doing anything you want him to do. So let me see here. I'm gonna have him kicking like that. Woohoo! There we go. Party over there. Okay, boom, boom. And again, this is just to practice our our figure drawing, all right? So we've got that. Now what we wanna do is we want to add the meat. He's got, they, and all of these characters that he's got, they've got some thickness to them. You don't wanna make them a little skinny mini, okay? So here we go. So we're gonna add that boxiness to them. And then we can erase, right, that middle, almost skeletal line. I'm gonna make him super thick right here. We've got a quarantine belly. All right, boom, boom, yo-yo. Okay, so then that way all I have to do is erase my middle line. Whoop, whoop, see how easy that is? Super cool. Awesome, yay, love it. 
Okay, so same thing over here. Shabloom, shabloom, shabloom. Now you do that with yours, okay? All right, so now you decide, hmm, we're gonna start with a focal point. What is going to be your main storytelling message? What is going to be your issue that you want to bring attention to that you don't think is right in the, about the world that you want to help fix as a part of the solution, right? Now with all of his work, we always do, well, he always does those movement lines or action lines to show, um, there's a lot going on here to show movement. So we can also do like these, like this means like the rhythm, you know, he would listen to a lot of um, music and hip hop and he was very influenced by modern culture. So you can make them go like this, right? If you want it to. And you can put a lot of, I'll just kind of show you this. You see all these little movement lines, right? The, uh, coming out of the hearts, he used a lot of hearts, all right? You can even use lines like this. You, you know Miss Talbert, Mrs. Talbert loves sound effects, all right? You can use that and, or you can use zigzags. Or you can do wigglies, as long as they're kind of going in the same direction. That's what you want to do. And then within those, you can go ahead and put different other symbols, depending on what you are trying to say. So let's go ahead and create our art. All right. gotten our artist fingers stretched out. So I think, of course, you know me, I love a heart. So I think what I'm gonna do is kind of go back to my original design and I'm going to decide where my middle of my paper is. That's gonna be my focal point. And I'm gonna do a big O heart. Oh yes, I am. Okay, so I've got my heart. And I want it to be symmetrical, meaning the same side on one as it is the same on the other side, okay? So I've got my heart and my heart is kind of broken right now. The world is in pain, so I'm gonna do this zigzag. And again, you can sketch it out, right? And I think I definitely want to do my three eyes. So I'm gonna put my first eye here. The three eyes meaning my viewpoint, somebody else's viewpoint, and then, you know, two, three different viewpoints, right? Not, sometimes people say, I'm right. Well, no, I'm right. Well, we all have just a, a different viewpoint. Who's to say which one is right or wrong? It's just a different way of looking at things. So I'm gonna do my big old gigantic bubble eyes. And I think I'm gonna do those in different colors too. So I'm gonna put my eyeballs. Now, I'm gonna put my COVID mask on, right? So I'm gonna put this because we are experiencing, we're in a pandemic and I'm gonna put my mask. This could also be a symbol for, hmm, my, my voice is being muffled a little bit here. Can't hear me as well, but I'm going to, maybe I'll put like radiating lines saying, hey, I can amplify my voice even though it feels like I'm being muffled, right? I'm gonna put my gigantic ears because you know I want people to hear and understand. This is, ears are gonna be my symbol for listening to one another. Listening to one another. Okay, great. So now I'm going to go ahead and put um, my different continents all around the world. Okay, there's seven continents, so I don't know. Okay, then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my people. So I'm gonna put 
a, a person at the top of the world. Maybe I'll put one here. Maybe I'll put one here. Uh-oh, so I gotta make sure I space them out. Again, you're gonna decide what are you trying to say, okay? Totally up to you. You don't have to do mine. You can do whatever you want to do, right? And then I'm going to put my people holding up the world. So I'm going to put a big person here and a big person here. And then we're going to, again, think about the lollipops, right? Think about a lollipop where you've got your the sucker part and then you've got the stick. Yes? Right. So I'm gonna use put my sticks on, and then I'm gonna put the legs. Again, two parts to the legs. So I'm gonna put the thigh and the shin and the, and the feet. Boom, this one, I'm gonna put one, like he's holding up the world, right? And I want the arms to reach out. Maybe this one will just be reaching out. No, I'll do like a bend to it. Again, stick figures are the best because everybody can do a stick figure. And then circles for the feet, circles for the hands. Right, okay. And that's cool. They don't all have to do exactly the same thing. So then maybe this one's sitting on the world like that partying like, hey, everybody, let's work together. Okay, boom. All right, again. This one's gonna be like, okay, I think two hands that way, two hands this way. And I can't wait to see yours. So go ahead and Start thickening up your, remember how we did that? Like we bubble-fied, that's not a word. We bubble-fied, <laughs> we bubble-fied the body. Bubble-fied, and I'll meet you back when we're done. Okay, have fun guys, let your imagination soar. What are you trying to say? Are you gonna put some, I'm gonna put all kind of stuff in mine. Have fun.
All right, guys. So hopefully you've created your wonderful piece of artwork. What I did for mine was I kind of adjusted my original one. So remember, this was my original one, two people, right? Kind of simple. And what I did was I said, okay, every colors of nationalities, of cultures should be able to hear each other. And we all have different perspective and look through a different eyeglass lens. The world is broken and we gotta get each part of us, we have to pull together. So in peace, in love. And I have the, the, the tears coming, the blood is coming, but guess what? The music, the creativity, there were blooming, uh, were blooming where we're planted. The ideas, the yin and the yang, the ideas are coming. The love is spreading. We're dancing around to come together for humanity. So again, what are you going to say with your people inspired by the wonderful artist, Keith Herring? What are you going to say with your beautiful artwork? that we were looking at and all the different symbols. So here are just a few ideas. I can't wait to see the message and I cannot wait for our next art project together. Have fun guys. Spread the love.